Hey, nine signs you're much wiser than you think. How would you describe a genius? Einstein's grandnephew who knows the answer to every test question ever? Or maybe it is a smart person who can solve any problem. We have news for you. It is not just about your genes, grades, or life experience. Scientists have revealed nine signs of a wise person we bet you've ignored. Counting down from number 9. You don't smoke. If you don't smoke, you're doing the right thing for your health. Give this video a thumbs up if you're a non-smoker. We've known it's a healthy and hence a smart thing for a long time. So what's new here, you might ask? Well, the fact that it means you might have more brains than average. Dr. Mark Weiser, who works for Sheba Medical Center in Tel Hashemer and his colleagues believe there is a link between smoking and intelligence. They found that the more you smoke, the lower your IQ is. A study of 20,000 young Israeli military recruits has shown that 18- to 21-year-old non-smokers had higher IQ scores than smokers. Those who live a healthier lifestyle scored 101, regular smokers ended with 94 points, and the result of those who smoke more than a pack a day was around 90 points. Number 8. You're not the loud type. Uh-oh. You might not be the heart and soul of every party. You might avoid the attention of others. Someone might have made fun of you because of this social inactivity. Well, don't worry about it. Super smart people are mostly quiet, just like you. They don't babble and they don't often initiate conversations. Why? They're too busy thinking, and if they have to say something, they think before they do it. They are mentally going through the possible outcomes of every conversation. According to Susan Cain, author of the book Quiet, The Power of Introverts, most intelligent people are very reserved. They take everything seriously, everything, including speaking. Silence is actually good for your brain since it gives you a chance to reflect and analyze. A study conducted by a Harvard University scientist, Randy Buckner, proved the same thing. Silence is golden. Number 7. You can find a connection between just about anything. What do sushi and ice cream have in common? Hmm, I know, I know, they're both eaten cold and come in many varieties. If this answer or any other answer was immediately evident to you, you are very likely to be super intelligent. Why? Because you can see some patterns others can't imagine. This is the prerogative of creative people, and creativity and genius are closely related. The National Center for Biotechnology Information shared the results of research conducted by the University of Graz scientists stating just that. Creativity is about drawing lines between what seems to be disconnected to others. It is possible for those who have experienced more things and have analyzed that experience. Doesn't it sound like the definition of being wise? Those wise people normally come up with the most genius ideas. So, if you are good at making up crazy stories about unrelated concepts, you have a mind way brighter than average. Number 6. You're a liberal. I knew it. I always knew it. Just kidding. I don't want to start a political debate here. However, there is some well-reasoned explanation brought to you by evolutionary psychologist Satoshi Kanazawa and published in Social Psychology Quarterly. One of the signs of being super smart is to be bold enough to accept ideas that move our world forward. Being liberal would not do much good to our ancestors, since liberal beliefs greatly differ from humans' evolutionary beliefs. James Bailey George Washington University leadership professor, explained that accepting liberal ideas is a way to show superiority or elitism, and it has to do with higher IQ. This point might serve as a great conversation topic with your conservative friends. Or maybe you are that conservative friend. Please don't take it personally. Number 5. You often ask yourself the big questions. Have you ever wondered why you are here and where this planet is going? What did you say? Always? 
If it does keep your mind busy most of the time, then you just found another sign of superintelligence in yourself. The more you think about the nature and future of everything around you, the more you realize different scenarios are possible. You know that, at some point, it could all go wrong and it's making you anxious. Being always alert and prepared for whatever may come your way is typical for smart people. Over 100 students at Lakehead University in Canada took part in a survey organized by psychologist Alexander Penny and his colleagues. Students were asked to share how often and what they worry about. It turned out that students who confessed they were always worried about something showed higher scores on intelligence tests. You can learn more about what anxiety has to do with a genius mind in this video. Number 4. You're super loyal. This one is true for men. Remember we said going against nature is a sign of a bold, bright mind? Well, this explanation works here as well. It is natural for males to try to spread their seeds. Those who successfully beat the desire to do it and are loyal partners to just one special individual tend to be smarter than those who cheat and sleep around. It is also explained in that intelligent liberal study by evolutionary psychologist Satoshi Kanazawa. It's all a bit controversial when it comes to females. It may be different now, but through the course of history, they have benefited from having one constant partner to support them and bring them a big fat mammoth. Yeah, this goes way back. Number 3. You have surprising hobbies. Note, I am not saying weird. By surprising, I mean hobbies unrelated to what you're doing for a living, but still giving you inspiration for your main job. If you are a computer systems analyst who gets new ideas from origami, or a chef who is inspired by furniture design, you are pretty much a creative genius. It has to do with the ability to relate the totally unrelated and being bold enough to try new things and design new concepts. If looking at a cake makes you create mathematical algorithms, congratulations! You're making a big step ahead of the others. Albert Einstein used to enjoy sailing, and we've all heard the story of how Sir Isaac Newton was inspired by a falling apple to create the Macintosh. Well, not really. Hey, these aren't bad examples of looking for inspiration in unexpected places, right? Number 2. You like to take risks. When we speak of risks, we don't mean life-threatening stuff like jumping off the roofs and train surfing. Risks are the new challenges and ideas that you gladly try out of curiosity, and quite a bit of adrenaline as well. Here's one example. When you're driving and the traffic light turns yellow, will you stop and wait for the next green or rush before red turns on? Hmm, I think I would pump it and move forward. Scientists at the University of Turku in Finland asked 34 young men aged 18 to 19 the same question in a driving simulation test. It turned out that those who made a quick decision to take a little risk were smarter than those who preferred to wait. Why? The research team believes it is because they have a more developed neural highway system in their brains. That highway is built of white matter, which is responsible for transmitting information through the brain. The risk-takers prove to have more of that white matter than the hesitators. Number 1. You bite your nails. This one is my personal favorite. Nail biting has been largely considered just a nervous habit, yet recent studies show it may be a demonstration of perfectionism. According to psychologists, such body-focused habits as skin picking, pulling your hair, or biting your nails helps fight boredom and soothe dissatisfaction. And striving for perfection in itself is a sign of intelligence. So don't be ashamed of your bad habit. Maybe you're just way too diligent. Have you found any of these signs in yourself? Or maybe you just realize your friend is much wiser than you thought? Feel free to share in the comments. If you thought this video was fun, give it a thumbs up. When it gets 50,000 likes, we'll create another one with more super-intelligent symptoms. Subscribe to our channel to never miss an update.